Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're talking about Facebook and whether your brand can survive Facebook's recent changes. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Hey, good afternoon, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. You know, we've been covering social uh, and Facebook in particular in quite a few of our Brown Bags, talking about how small businesses can use this for outreach. And certainly, you know, it's understandable. There are 1.35 billion active users, just a staggering number, Chad, and over 30 million business pages on Facebook. So there's this huge audience, and everybody's wanted a piece of that. It's been growing for years. It's been up and coming. But today, things really were shook up by Forrester Research when they said, and they came out with a statement that's pretty bold. They said, it is a waste of time and resources for marketers to spend so much time on Facebook. And this is a pretty different uh, position that we've heard from a lot of things we've covered, Chad. Uh, specifically, Forrester released... Uh, a paper called Social Relationship Strategies That Work. This is a report that they put out. Um, their VP and Principal Analyst, Nate Elliott, has been quite vocal about warning brands against expecting too much from Facebook, which is kind of counterculture to all the hype we've been hearing about them for years. He's saying specifically that Facebook has been making it more and more difficult for your posts to get through organically. And I know, Chad, as we talk to our SEO reseller community, we're, we're hearing that, of course. And he's also saying these platforms really just don't deliver the business value that most small businesses are seeking. Facebook is encouraging more businesses to buy advertising. So a lot of uh, analysts had called for that. We've been predicting that too. But he's taking the bold statement and Forrester is saying now it's time, it's come time to jump ship for brands to start to look at other places other than Twitter and Facebook, which have been the two big sources in social. And they really need to start to consider using smaller social networks to build relationships with their customers. Uh, they're specifically recommending that businesses should start to add features that build community right on their own websites and not rely so much on these social media platforms. And they're also recommending looking at smaller platforms that haven't gotten to the uh, you know, strong profit motives that Twitter and Facebook have these are platforms uh, such as Instagram and Pinterest. So this is really bold news coming out, Chad, today, and it, it kind of sounds like Elliot here and Forrester Research is saying, well, Facebook you know, might be going away at some point, or it just isn't the big dog we thought it was. Yeah, in fact, I, I thought one of the interesting quotes he said is that, you know, basically um, Facebook will become nothing but a repository uh, for display ads. So that's definitely some pretty bold um, statements and predictions. Um, Ogilvy actually came out and had a, a study um, that they also uh, put out earlier this year and that said that basically organic reach is destined for zero, um, you know, because we have seen people who have invested a lot of time in building up their following on Facebook just not getting that, that reach. And we've talked about this many times. Part of that's just there's a, been a tremendous growth in the number of people and competition for that limited shelf space on someone's feed. And then the other part of it is, of course, a profit motive by Facebook. They need to they need to make money. Um, so just a couple um, stats here that we've got uh, that basically uh, shows that the average engagement um, for a top brand on Facebook is 0.073%. On Twitter, it's 0.035%. So gosh, like these are just really hard numbers for someone seeking um, a reasonable return on investment to really get to get really excited about because this this is just really really low engagement. Um, Digiday, though, of course, just a little bit of a contrarian view. They came out and recently and and basically said that um, they actually beg to differ, and they think that uh, Facebook still is a, a a good place for brands to participate and try to build community. They quoted a study, um, a social baker study, um, that indicated that brands can still reach about 25% of their followers, um, and that uh, in fact, in some cases, like celebrity pages, may reach up to 54 54% of fans, whereas uh, and news media, in some cases, 58%. So there's still plenty of, of reach and opportunities out there. I think really what it comes down to is being smarter about how you use Facebook. You need to think about, and here are a couple tips that we have, um, you know, definitely don't abandon your offers. Um, but you know, I think this really comes down to being a little bit more uh, to curating um, what information you decide to share. This shouldn't just be a, a steady stream of content. You need to think about the audience you need to some, use some of the tools that are now there that are still are relatively inexpensive um, to go out and promote a post. It's not that much money, and they give you a lot of flexibility for targeting it to the right audience, uh, and, and, and you, know, you can even segment your current uh, fan base into different uh, groups. So there's a lot of flexibility there. And again, it just kind of comes back to knowing your audience, um, and this is a great part of an overall promotion strategy. We talked about email 
Uh, Facebook is clearly there, Twitter is, but you can't just invest all of your, uh, you can't really invest everything in one area. You need to, to think about how to use Facebook as just one part of your digital marketing strategy. So that's what we have, Adam. Well, very interesting stuff, and I, and I know a lot of the smaller businesses really struggle with Facebook, and so they might hear this report and say, oh, yeah, it's starting to make sense on why it isn't what it used to be. Um, some good prescriptions there to maybe check out some smaller networks or uh, look for your return on investment elsewhere. So that's our coverage today. Thanks for coming to the Brown Bag, and we ask you to subscribe, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.